My name is Amr Azim, I'm a reproductive endocrinologist at New York City IVF. Um, I would like to discuss uterine factor of infertility and uh, thin lining. Uh, so the uterus is an integral part of uh, reproduction. Uh, the cavity of the uterus as well as the lining of the uterus should be in good shape for uh, receiving the embryo, implantation, subsequent growth of the embryo, and uh, uh, formation of the placenta. Uh, the, 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 there are a uh, few things that might affect the lining and uh, attention to the uterus should be part of any uh, initial fertility workup. Um, uh, from, history, uh, from the history standpoint, some women had uh, uh, prior surgery inside the uterus and that could point out to uh, uh, possible problems uh, that may need to be fixed. Uh, also, the volume of the menstrual cycle could be also an indication uh, if the amount has been uh, less uh, than what they experienced before, especially after a surgical procedure like uh, suction uh, DNC and uh, termination of pregnancy, cesarean section, uh, myomectomies, uh, and these are uh, things to point to in history. Uh, observation of the lining during the menstrual cycle and its development uh, is also an important point. Uh, so the lining has certain thickness and characteristic in the first half of the cycle. And this characteristic is changed to a different pattern in the second half of the cycle. And uh, observation of the thickness and the pattern uh, should alert the reproductive endocrinologist that there is or there is not a problem in the lining. Uh, there also could be structural problems that distort the lining of the uterus that are coming from the muscle of the uterus. And this could include uh, a fibroid. Fibroids are benign tumor that can sometimes grow under the lining and distort the cavity. And we know that when fibroids distort the cavity, uh, they reduce the chance of embryo implantation. Uh, on the other hand, fibroids that do not distort the shape of the uterine cavity um, uh, do not uh, uh, affect implantation as far as the available literature right now. Uh, there uh, also could be calcium deposits and, or irregularities in the lining. Uh, the the uh, other uh, factors that might uh, change uh, or, or distort the cavity of the uterus would be uh, congenital abnormalities in the uterus. And the uterus is made up of two, two tubes that unite together and uh, sometimes this union is not complete and there is a separation in the middle of the cavity and uh, in the majority of times that could also be uh, uh, remedied or removed very easily. Uh, so how is the lining investigated? Through observation with an ultrasound, uh, also through uh, 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 identification of the inside of the cavity uh, by injecting a few drops of sterile saline. Uh, the water look, uh, will appear dark while the tissue appear uh, gray or white, and that will delineate if there is any protrusion into the cavity of the uterus. Uh, if need may be, uh, hysteroscopy can be performed if an abnormalities uh, are uh, found on, uh, on the water sonogram. Uh, hysteroscopy is a rigid tube with an optic system that would be inserted in the uterus uh, with the general or local anesthesia. It's not required routinely, uh, but only required if there is high suspicion of abnormalities on tests done in the office. And it also has the advantage of the ability to remove polyps uh, or uh, uh, fibroids. Uh, and it can also correct uh, a uterine septum or some of the anomalies that happen inside the uterus. Uh, that, that, uh, that, are, uh, uh, that changes the shape of the cavity uh, and uh, it's, uh, it, it does not require hospital stay. Uh, uh, once the cavity is corrected, then you are able after that to proceed with, uh, with uh, whatever fertility treatment uh, that is determined. Uh, uh, some women uh, report thin lining during uh, uh, fertility treatment, notably IVF. So they grow a good number of eggs, however, the lining fails to respond. Uh, and many times this is not due to uh, factors uh, uh, that are known. So for example, they have not undergone any surgeries inside the uterus, uh, but their lining uh, doesn't respond very well. Uh, and uh, uh, in, in many times, uh, exposure of the lining to uh, uh, estrogen 
for a, a, a longer period of time may lead to an improvement in the lining. But unfortunately, sometimes this may require freezing of all the embryos and not doing a transfer because the lining is not favorable at the end of an IVF cycle. Uh, in a frozen cycle, they w w w usually receive uh, uh, an increasing amount of, uh, of estrogen treatment uh, till the lining thickens enough. And uh, other options sometimes exist uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, 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 manipulating the lining with varying success including uh, vaginal uh, uh, sildenafil suppositories. Um, anyway, patients uh, can resolve many of these cases. In women that have intrauterine scarring, uh, that scarring could also be removed through hysteroscopy. Thank you very much.